In this instructional video, we will show you how easy it is to remove a component from a tapered shaft using the SKF oil injection method, if the shaft is equipped with a suitable duct and distribution groove. If it is necessary to first machine the oil grooves, feed channels and threaded connections into the shaft or sleeve, full details are provided by the SKF oil injection method program found on skf.com. The SKF oil injection method uses a thin oil film to separate surfaces, allowing bearings and other components with a tight interference fit to be easily removed in a safe, controllable and rapid manner. In the SKF oil injection kit you are provided with the following. The hydraulic pump and hose, the user manual, the hydraulic fluid and the hydraulic connector. You will also require a punch, a hammer, a hook spanner and an allen key. Now let's look at how to use the kit to remove a bearing from a tapered shaft. First using a punch and hammer, unlock the lock ring. Then using a hook spanner and hammer, loosen the lock nut and move it back but do not remove it. The lock nut will stop the bearing or any other component from launching off the tapered shaft and causing injury when the bearing is removed during the oil injection process. Next, using an Allen key, remove the plug which seals the hydraulic duct. Now we insert the hydraulic connector into the open hydraulic duct, turning it until it has a good fit and tightening with a spanner. This is where we will connect our hydraulic pump. Take the dust cap off the hose and connect the hose to the hydraulic connector on the shaft. Stand to the side of the bearing, for safety do not stand in front, in the event that bearing is launched off the shaft. Close the valve on the pump and begin to work the lever. This will start to pump oil into the system. When enough oil is introduced, it will form a barrier between the bearing and the shaft, breaking the interference fit. At that point, you will hear a loud bang. The bearing can now be removed from the tapered shaft. Disconnect the hydraulic pump and place the dust cap back onto the hose. Remove the locking nut and then the locking ring. The bearing can now be removed from the tapered shaft. The hydraulic connector can be removed from the shaft and the plug placed back in to reseal the hydraulic duct. Job done! Please go to skf.com oim for more information.